I have to like stop to grab her. I'm sorry. This is my cat Zeppelin. She's not gonna look at the camera because she's a brat. That's okay. I hope you're okay today. No. I know sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. Terrible therapist. Actually, I feel like she'd be a better therapist than I am. And yes, I have to keep plugging up my microphone because it's dead. I also need to kill my blinds here and the lights. I forget that every time I stream. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Don't be scratching up my sheets. I forget this every time I stream because my camera is so freakishly white. Or whatever, it renders so white because of the screen here. I have to just kill my uh, lights, pretty much. There's 50. Let's go 100 and off. There we go. Makes it even better. Boo. I forget what part this is. I'm going to go through and look at all the chapter names. So I can redo my streams. hoping you wouldn't come back I'm just a machine replacing another machine lieutenant you shouldn't get emotional about it oh fuck you um my cat just said bolt Zeppelin you little shit she's crazy how did you find Kamsky Kamsky this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. Oh, she's playing in the box. I don't mind she's playing in a box. I thought here's something I'd have to like check on her because it's like cat. Don't hurt yourself. Come here, baby. Okay, she's made herself a box. That's fine. I made a few calls. Here we are. Eyes, my view settings are terrible. There's something out in the distance, and I don't remember what it is. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. It's not that hard, just, just walk in. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. That's Chloe, by the way. She's the same one on the loading screen. Also, tell me Kamsky don't kind of look like G-Easy in the face, like, from a distance. Prove me wrong, nice but like. Girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Zeppelin. Nice place. Cat. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I don't know. Tell you when I see him. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. Why not? You can just roll around on the carpet. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Sit down for no reason. Literally, he could have stood and had this conversation. So sweet. This is the RA9. It looks like the RA9 uh, statue. Don't let me analyze it. 
Glad you will see you now. Hmm. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. Red pool, red interior pool. I'd love that. Honestly, like. He lives in the middle of like absolutely nowhere and he's protected by a barrier. Don't look like GEZ. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. I have a mask in my pocket. Deviants. Really. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. Now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I'm gonna have to kill I her. Call it a Kamsky test. And I remember. Sooner. Need to pull these. Six Magnificent, days. isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Come here, kitty. Young. Hey, baby. And beautiful forever. You just want to bet at my hands, don't you? Flower the <laughs> Wiggle fingers. What is it really? A piece of plastic. I'll play with you in a little bit. We're a living being. With a soul. That is much better. Oh, that is not. I bet you that's not the it's first time she's been on him knees like that. Question. There we go. Turn everything back up. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. I'm gonna shoot it. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. I'm gonna shoot it. Just so we can get the case on. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out What's more here. important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android? Decide who you are. Okay. An obedient machine. Come here. A living being. Endowed with free will. I know. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Come! 
matter. Don't. And I'll tell you what you want to know. Fuck. Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android. You fool me. Come here, baby. This is my I'm cat. My word. I was gonna name her or something like that. Ask one question. I'll tell you all I know. I want to know where Jericho is. Jericho. A place where androids are free. A place for deviants to rise up against their creators. She's gonna sit up here and watch it. They transmit a piece of code to each other. In order to find their sanctuary. Yeah. Wrong. Oops. Sorry, I had to throw my cat's toy to her. Now you have the key. Ferndale Station is the door. coming. You'll have to choose your side. Ah, yes, Kansas, Will you betray your asshole. people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse? And having to choose between two evils. What? Just absolutely smack him. Phone's doing its normal thing again. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. You shot that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out. I did what I had to do Yonk. to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a low life. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Uh, yeah. Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. What did you think I was? I thought you... Say it. I thought... Spill it, stupid. Should be okay. Oh, it's because I died. Chris is dead. Right there. Oh, you have your other rope toy. Good girl. You're technically just waiting for North.
North. I didn't hit any buttons, but North is here, so. She's being a good cat. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. I shouldn't have told you. your memories. Carl's house. When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. Zep Zep that. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. North. Get her. Come here. Are you stuck? I think my cat is stuck. Come here, baby. Zeppelin. All right, she's not stuck. I thought she was stuck. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. 
there are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. You're awake now. Whatever. I really don't mind right now. Uh, finally. I've been on hold for like ten minutes. Ooh, ten minutes. I was on hold for two hours one time. Well, not two hours, but like, we were on a, like, I was trying to get a phone call. And, and... I need to block the street. You're free now. He's chosen to be free. Is that car the AX400 model? Have to be a bunch more androids that join. I think you just start pressing buttons on them.
Christ! This bed's the 12457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. I think he just starts grabbing them after that. Can I get these two? came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. Marcus, don't choose confrontation. <laughs> Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. Simon. Easier scenes, you just have to press a lot of buttons so you can't like check stuff right away. Should have shot him. Cat! She's behind my desk, she's gonna end up pulling my PlayStation cords. one of the longest scenes that you have to actually spam buttons. Shit. 
Damn it. Come on. That's what I get. Where's my cat? Oh, she's playing with my shoes. That's why she's batting at my chick. We're gonna have issues. I shouldn't have done that. Whole thing, we should have burst. I should have dispersed the group because now we don't have any like androids. Hey, <laughs> baby. Hi, pretty girl. Cat! <sighs> She's gonna get stuck. I might need to let her downstairs real quick. Come here, baby. I gotta take my cat downstairs for around a little bit. Actually, she's just meowing because she wants attention. <sighs> Every time I take this off, it has to be plugged back in. Just need to know where you're at. She just she got screaming at me, cat. I don't remember where she's exactly at. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Kamsky told me how to find Jericho. I know where the Deviants are hiding. You've done very well, Connor. Thanks to you, we now have a chance to stop the Deviant Revolution. Did Kamsky design this place? created the first version has been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. You didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? 
I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. But we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, there can't you pick me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Could have done it. I get my orders from Cyberlife. She my got... mission hasn't changed. What she... Gonna do? she literally got the snake that's in my bed somehow out, and I don't know where she's at. That's nice. Know where your cat's at? Oh, good <laughs> She's a trouble. She causes a lot of trouble. Come here now, Zeppelin. Stop, or you're gonna go back in your cage. I really don't want to put you there, but that's where you're gonna go. No, ma'am. I feel like they changed voice actors right here. What if we're on the wrong side? What if we're fighting against people that just want to be free? Mm. If that's the case, I'll find out when I get to Jericho. Back at Stratford Tower when that android was shooting at everything that moved. You protected me. You <laughs> risked your life. To save mine. That showed empathy, Connor. And empathy is a human emotion. I know I haven't always treated you fairly, Lieutenant. Maybe my social relations program needs adjustment. But I want you to know I really enjoyed being your partner. What, baby? You're gonna have to choose your side, Connor. Deciding who you are can be the oh. hardest thing of all. Oh, you got claws, Brad. Ow. What love? She's just purring and purring and purring. She don't stop purring. Ow. 
brat. <laughs> Bite me. Hey, 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 ma'am. You can't eat my charger. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Ow. She's biting me. Come here, love. Cranky ass cat. No. 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 A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Bitch, don't bite me. I will send you to a Chinese restaurant. Let's go. She's gonna bite me in the face. She's gonna bite me in the face. So they're making us do the Jericho thing again, but with Connor. Bitch, stop. This cat's being a pain in my ass. She keeps whapping at my cords or slap them. And she don't realize she's gonna get electrocuted. Walking speed. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel, which is consisted of specialized the situation is extremely alarming. They're hands on that major cross the city. We're gonna destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We've got to do something. We've got to do something. I think this fucker was watching over my kids. They, they rushed the police in here. They slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. 
Cat. She's about to hit my TV screen. Try to find this Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours and it's on the other side of town. We'll go as soon as we have passports. Will you be okay? Cat. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered all. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. That's my foot, hun. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Okay, she's on my You're bed. Right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Where did my cat go? A mom. You wanted a little girl. You needed each other to survive. In the end, what difference does it make? 
Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. I need to find my cat too after this scene's over. It's not gonna ruin a good scene. <sighs> okay. Now I need to really find my cat because she gets stuck in something and, you know, I'm responsible for it. My legs hurt, so. <laughs> This is one thing I don't like about streaming with animals, is that if I go somewhere, you have to find them. Cat. Where'd she go? Cat's gone. <laughs> Baby. I think I know where she's at, but now I gotta like get my light out and actually look for her. Cause she could be stuck in the, under my bed and then she's kinda screwed because I can't get to her. If she gets stuck under like, oh, there you are, you brat. How did you say? Ha! Come on. Just grab on. One thing she is good at though is coming when I call her. <sighs> no. No. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering <laughs> our people. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. was a peaceful march and you chose to attack now hundreds of humans and androids are dead you reap what you sow you saw what they did to us back there it doesn't matter what we do we either fight for our freedom or we die in silence we shouldn't forget who our enemies are we can't fight amongst ourselves he's right all that matters now is what we do next Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. 
kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Is this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. <laughs> use it now. I just want you to know that I'm glad I met you. <laughs> so it's eating her face aggressively. <laughs> I see this thing on Instagram it was sent to me, and uh, ever since then, my boyfriend is scared that I'd do it to him, and well, little does he know, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna be off guard, I'm just gonna... Locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Too bad. Oh, it glitched a little bit. To my. Hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. She's just sitting there chilling. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Don't force me to neutralize you. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or living being capable of reason I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question you really don't have to do this 
You don't have playing to characters play. against yourself or against themselves. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. It's time to decide. Nice try. Oh, I'm not deviant. She's laying down in my thing. I don't remember if they're allowed to even get shot or anything, like if it allows them. Marcus, there's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Don't do it, cat. You're gonna rip my headset out. God, I don't wanna do this. Another immediate scene I'm about to just block. Perfect timing. Are you all right, Cara? Yes. I'm Whatever. Fine. We can't stay here. There's more down there. Follow me. Don't move. 
Cat! Oh god, she's eating something. No, 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 no. Why are you still chewing it? Girl, that's metal. You're gonna hurt yourself. No. God, I forgot I have a bunch of broken rubber bands everywhere. Oops. From when I do my hair. Did my hair. And when they snap, sometimes you don't get all of them, so it's like... <laughs> don't shoot. I'm on your side. With us? Are you a human? Uh, Obviously. What do I look like? DPD, I work with Lieutenant Hank Anderson. We're on a stakeout. If I knew you were coming, I would have brought some donuts. You're a lucky guy. Another second I'd have shot you. You should go back up on deck and let us do our job. You're right. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I think I screwed up, but I think I just unlocked one of the endings I have not played yet. How'd they get that? My mission is to neutralize you, and I always accomplish my mission. And my mission is to save our species. Looks like only one of us can succeed. Any second, we gotta get out of here. It's too late, Mark. 
lives. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Fire! Swap you and you and you. Bonk. Good night. Buttons 100. Run quick, come on. Oh, but now she can run. <coughs> they detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Are you sure about that? Oh, I got a trophy for this game again. I'm afraid of what's about to happen to Kara and Alice because... You always said that living was about making choices. So what if I chose to defend myself against Leo? Maybe you could still be alive. Maybe a lot of things could have been different. Unless all of this was just meant to happen. I just wanted my people to be free. But instead, all I did was lead them to disaster. I am trying to find answers, but everything around me keeps falling apart. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? Help me, Carl. Please help me. I lost a small casket for how, f or a small stone, like with no detail, for how much it is. I will kill you. Kill your mama. Guys, I kill you. Previous Connor failed its mission. Hey, you're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Destroy the leader of the deviants. Go, Connor. Don't disappoint me. Stop getting into everything. I love you, but you're being a pain in my ass. Severely. She's gonna miss me all week.
I'm gonna actually leave the stream here. Go back to working where I was, that truck. Current process will be, yeah, yeah. So I'll pick up where I dropped off later, second stream, six, you know. Whatever. Come on, girl. My cat responds like a dog. It's kind of scary. Alrighty, that'll be it for the stream. See y'all.